This is a teardown of a Dell USB-C docking station, model D6000, part number MKX27. This uh, particular style of docking station, they always tend to be damaged for some reason. Obviously this one I cut the cord off of, but the connector that plugs on the laptop always seems to get damaged. It's the weirdest thing. Um, I have a hunch this is snapped together, but I'm really hopeful that there's screws under this rubber base. Ooh, all right, that's a good sign. I see screws. Oops. Yeah, I was a little worried that this would be snapped together, but thankfully there are screws, which means I don't have to use violence to take this apart. Kind of interesting on this base how they molded a raised section for the model tag and the badging. I'm not sure why they did that. I guess they figured it, the labels wouldn't stick well to the rubber, which actually makes sense. So, in theory, <laughs> I might need to pry that out. Oh, let's just hope it's not snapped together and screwed. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Try a bigger side, maybe. There we go. All right. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder. really a strain relief it's just a hole that the uh, cable goes through so if the external cable gets damaged on this it actually might be serviceable it wouldn't be as good as it was originally because with this cable has some built-in mechanisms to hold it in place but on the other end it's just a USB-C cable so unless they were like total jerks and decided to do something proprietary, if you broke the cable on your docking station on the other end, you could theoretically just replace this with another USB-C cable, which is interesting. I'm going to take this apart regardless, but I might try to be nice when I take it apart because I want to put it back together and test that theory. Ooh. I'll think about testing that theory. I gotta see if I can find a laptop that I don't want to risk, or that I'm willing to risk ruining. I don't know why it would would be wired and weird though. So we got this little board on top of everything. I'm not sure what it does. It doesn't look like it in interacts with the outside world. A lot of connectors go into it though. So clearly this does something that they couldn't fit on the top board. Ah, I see what it does now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to remove this without damaging it. Oh, that didn't feel great. That ah, pins are still straight, I think. Yeah. <laughs> So apparently, and frame, we'll zoom in a little. Apparently, they decided to separate the power regulation from the main PCB. I guess we'll find out here in a second as there's some more screws I can remove to get this massive heatsink off. I'm really surprised that the bulk of the weight of these is from the heatsink. I always knew they were heavy just from general handling. But I never knew why, because this is actually the first time I've tore apart one of these USB-C docking stations from Dell. Alright, I think there's some pads holding this down. There we go. That's just custom machined for 
making contact with everything on the PCB. It looks like there is some more power regulation stuff on the board, or maybe these are just random inductors. Hmm. I'm not sure why they put all these ribs on here. I mean, obviously it's to increase the surface area, but this doesn't really appear to be designed to have any external airflow. So I don't know, I guess like convection or something internally, the air currents of hot and cold air. Just gonna see if this comes out real quick. Um, there we go. Hmm, quite the board. I don't want to disturb the thermal pads on this, so. I won't get too close to a look. There is some Nanya memory on there. And there's the USB C port that goes to the outside world from this unit. Zoom out to the bottom side. See a little real tech chip there. And that seems to be kind of in line with the network port, so that's probably for the networking. I'm not sure why, but my camera is not playing nice with focus today. Granted, I just zoomed in 12x, but I don't know what's going on. I'll clean the lens real quick with my dirty finger. There we go. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, it just doesn't want to focus. Weird. But, yes, yeah, so that's the bottom side. So I'm going to just put this back together real quick. Actually really nicely constructed. These have always felt really heavy duty, and um, the only real downfall is the USB cable. It's a shame that, like, they did a nice job where you could replace that, but why not put that USB C connector on the outside? I would hate to think it was engineered to fail, but that's kind of what it looks like, in my opinion. Like, why would you, why would you use a easily replaceable part for something that's not designed to be used or serviceable? They could have just as easily used a pin header to connect that to, or something else, but they went with the USB-C. Alrighty. See, oh, I'm really zoomed in still. There we go. <laughs> there are really tiny pins on this connector. There we go. Oh, the other problem is the only USB-C cable I have that I can think of, well, actually I have two of them. I have one for my Oculus Quest 2, and I have one for syncing data off my phone from USB-C to USB-A. I'm going to see if I can find a compatible laptop and power supply and I guess the peripheral to make sure it's passing through to the ports. Alright, so I'm back with more stuff. 
And this is something I feel like I'm going to regret. I feel like I'm risking this for no reason. But I am at the same time curious. So I guess the first thing to do is plug this in. This is a 130 watt power supply. I don't know why I feel like this can explode, but <laughs> let's put safety glasses on first. Safety first. And we're just gonna, yeah. No flame, no smoke. Power supply light's still on, so it didn't short out. The indicator light on there, which I think, I don't know if this has a power button or not. This does not have a power button. Oh, and then lights up the front light. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, the next question will be is, does this laptop work still? This laptop was fixed under warranty, but it behaves strangely if you leave it off for too long, unplugged. I really want to sell it. It's a really nice laptop. What was this thing even? Latitude 5580, I think this is 6th or 7th gen. And I don't remember if I have a 2.5 inch or an NVMe drive in there. So I think while I'm waiting for that to boot, I'm going to plug in one into my cable. This is from my Oculus Quest 2. The cable's not as thick as the one that came with the dock, so I'm a little worried about that. Also, that's interesting. The laptop's not flashing on my screen, but it flickers on camera. I've never seen that before on a laptop. That's weird. So, here goes nothing. I'm going to make the regrettable decision <laughs> of plugging this into the dock. No flames. And we're going to plug it into the laptop now. Uh, where's the brightness key? There we go. And pull up the battery. Currently it's on battery. Please don't blow up my laptop. Nothing seems to be happening here. Still on battery. Nothing's smoking. But I also didn't hear any Windows noises indicating I've added hardware. Huh. Well, that's disappointing. Unless it's not compatible, but this is... This has a USB-C port on it. So... That's disappointing. That, inclu that concludes the uh, teardown though, I guess. I will have to double check to make sure this USB-C cable is still good. I'll plug it into my Quest and see if it charges still. But unfortunately, there's some uh, proprietary magic going on on this end that is stopping me from replacing this USB-C looking cable. So, yeah, not, not what I was expecting from this teardown, but hopefully it was interesting and thank you for watching.